Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Alabama's been extraordinarily consistent all season long. They sit on top of their division. Everything's gone right. That's the way it always is when everything suddenly goes wrong. One letdown can spoil an entire season's worth of work. That's going to do it for us here on the pregame show. NCAA Football 14 action coming at you right now. Fred Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. setting for it here on the campus of the University of Alabama. And now let's head down to the coin toss. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calorie. Enjoy everything. He's on the field to kick this one off, and everyone in the stadium is ready for this game to get started. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 29. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. immediately tackled. You feel bad to criticize anybody for being aggressive, but if he wouldn't have been on the play action, I don't know if they would have been able to pick up the first down. It's first and ten. Ball on the 49-yard line. on the blitz. That gave the quarterback enough time to find his man for a nice game. From the 31-yard line, first down. And they make the stop at the 21. This is the kind of steady, strong drive that coaches love to see. Right now, they're firing on all cylinders. Boy, was he drilled as he let go of that football. Yeah, he's going to feel that one tomorrow. From the 21 yard line, second down. It's it out to his receiver in a hurry. Nice play to set up first and goal. and looking to cap this off with a touchdown. Nice run there. Wright picks up about four yards on the play. That brings him second and goal. Run! 
Let's go. Green 90. Green 90. Touchdown, Crimson. the PAT. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese, let's take a look at Lubbock. This game was tighter than spandex on a sumo wrestler. Texas Tech gets the victory 30 to 28. In other action, the Hurricanes and Gators in the battle for the Seminole War Canoe. This game was so tight, every play seemed to be of the utmost importance. And for Allen, he had a touchdown run in this one. The Hurricanes pull it off by two. All right, Reese, back to our game. Malone, ready to kick. Meeks from the two. Across the 30. That was a great hit. He wasn't getting away from that one. The Yellow Jackets have got a guy at quarterback that is a true leader. We found that out this week talking to him. We sure did, Brad. It was interesting this week and as you and I prepared for this game, finding out that he called a players-only meeting without any of the coaches just to get this team focused and let them understand what it takes to go on the road and to win this kind of game. And when you have that kind of leadership, you got a real chance to be able to go on the road and win. The halfback option gets him 10 yards down the field. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Check curls, check curls, check curls. And he carries the ball for a nice game. It's a nice read by the quarterback to keep the ball and pick up some yardage. Tackled for a loss. From a defensive coordinator standpoint, it can really help out your scheme when you get excellent run support by the corner. We've got a second and 14. Ball on the 44. Here he goes. Tackle at the 39. First and ten. Ball on the 39-yard line. He's at the 30. He's tackled at the 14. First down. Touchdown, Tech. Well, a quarterback just showed us he can beat you with his feet as well as his arm. And what a dangerous weapon this guy is. The extra point to tie this game up. And he converts the extra point. A six-play, 65-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical. It's really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running back. Georgia Tech is ready to kick it away. He'll take it from the two. And down he goes at the 29-yard line. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. intercepted there that was a nice play anything you can do without being penalized to prevent the offense from moving forward is always a plus from their own 29 yard line second down it's a 
that's a fumble. He picks it up. And he's tackled at the three. And that's exactly what this defense was looking for. Yeah, that fumble gives these guys some added life. Now let's see if they can capitalize off of it. Well, they had a lot of success on their last possession, and now they're going to start this one off with excellent field position. It's hard to ask your defense to come out and make a stop when they're already backed up this far within their own end zone. So the booth and the referee agree. The runner's knee was down. That was still a close call, though, Brad. Even though he was down, this guy has to do a better job of holding that football. Caught open field. He's at midfield. Tackle made around the 45-yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 45-yard line. Ready. He gets out to about the 42-yard line. Makes it to the 42-yard line. No Third down. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 35. Here we go. Slings it. Spectacular play, and now it's first and goal. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Zips it out, and it's the tight end again. They'll bring him down at the four-yard line. So at the end of one quarter, we get a tie game at 7-7. We welcome you back to the action here, and we have got a tight one going on in quarter number two. Set! Way 90! Way 90! He gets rid of this one. It's third and goal, and they're about four yards out. Taken down around the one yard line. Hard gain by the running back. That brings up fourth and goal. Alabama could take the lead with this field goal. The kick is up, and he got it. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding him to a field goal right there. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20, and he makes it out to about the 21-yard line. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Nice run up the middle. Second and six. Ball in the 25. And 
and down he goes at the 23. He's had one of the most dangerous offensive weapons in the entire country under center today. This kid is really fun to watch. He's fun to watch unless you're a defensive coordinator. One thing's for sure, it's going to be a great chess match between the offensive and defensive coordinators today. I don't know if they'll be able to hear his cadence in the midst of all this mayhem. Caught out in the open. He's taken down around the 37-yard line. That makes it first and ten. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 37-yard line. Oh, big hit. He's going to lose yardage. A one-yard loss. Really, they just had nowhere to go. to see this very often from this running back. He just got gobbled up pretty deep in the backfield. Third down again. Always a noisy place to play and tough on the offense. Throws into coverage, just picked off. That's a great tackle at the 43-yard line. And he probably should never have thrown that ball. When your receivers are covered like that, sometimes as a quarterback, it's better to just take the sack than take your chances with a throw. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 43-yard line. Alabama has a three-point lead. Fires it out. Burrell picks him up six yards with a catch. And he's hit immediately. That one goes for good yardage and a first down. Yeah, that's just a nice gain on second down. From the 29-yard line, first down. Him hard at the 27 yard line. That makes it second and eight. Gets it, he's in space. Touchdown! with the extra point. Malone is lined up to kick this one off. He's to the 20. Brought down 31. I'm sure the quarterback would love to make amends for that last pick. So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. Scrambling around. No one open, so he's going to run. Brought down at about the 39-yard line. Well, they didn't get the first down, but it was still a pretty good run by the quarterback. He made a good decision to take off there. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. He's going to try and scramble, and he dives forward. He tucks it in and gets the first. He was just looking for enough to move the chains. He scrambled. 
He's wrapped up for the sack. And for Harrell, that's his fifth sack of the season. He really fought to get to the quarterback that time. He's certainly shown that he can get it done on a week-to-week -week basis. Georgia Tech's going to have to use their second time out of the half. From their own 42-yard line, it's second down. tries to buy some time and he's level at the 49 yard line really a tough spot for an offense to be in against this crowd in this stadium there he goes and they make the stop the 39 yard line to be successful you've got to come through a third down and that's just what they did with that big run Scrambling. Tackle at the 36-yard line. Throws it in a hurry. A nice looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. Throws it away. It's the ninth time. The Yellow Jackets saw one of their top players going down earlier, but it looks like he's going to be able to get back in there. Fires out to his wideout. He's tackled right around the 10-yard line. Kane gains six yards with a short completion. Georgia Tech's out of timeouts. The field goal unit's out on the field, and they're going to try to get these guys three points before halftime. You expect this every time you're here, and you're never disappointed. This crowd is amazing. He gets it up, and it is good. Looks like they're ready for the kick. From his own goal line. He's tackled at the 23-yard line. So at the end of the half, the Crimson Tide in front, 17-10. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what down in the first 30 minutes. This game's been everything we anticipated it being, each team matching each other blow for blow, just a one possession game at this point. What do you expect to change things in the second half? It's always, it's always fun to watch two teams and two games match up the hype. And we, we talked about it all week and how big this game is and it's going to come down to players making plays. And, you know, the, the big play is something that we continue to beat into the ground. And which one doesn't give that up? A lot of times, you know, games are lost and won by turnovers and giving it away and making that crucial mistake. You can do everything right and you can execute right, but it just takes that one misstep, that one turnover to, to really put you in a bad position or a bad situation that can determine this game. That's what it looks like it's going to. Both teams executing well. Who's going to make a big mistake? David and I will be keeping an eye on your game and everything else going on in the country here in our palatial and comfortable surroundings in the studio. The best seat in the house belongs to Brad Nessler in Kirk Herb Street. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set. Mays has it at the five. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. He's out to the 30. Gains his way to the 36-yard line. First down.
from their own 36 yard line. It's first down. Gains his way to the 46 yard line. First down. their own 44 yard line second down he's hit and taken down you can tell he's got a lot of faith in his wide receivers even when he's a little bit off target they can pull it in and make something happen Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. He makes his way to about the 32. That makes it first and 10. It's first and ten. Ball on the 32-yard line. Pitch out. Got the corner. Gains his way to the 16-yard line. First down. There's a player down. I'm not sure what happened. out to about the eight a gain of eight and a nice decision by the quarterback to give it up on the option this is the eighth play of this drive for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. He makes the PAT. They line up to kick this one away. He'll return it from the three. He's taken down at the 16-yard line. Now's when you start to approach each drive thinking that if you take the lead, then the momentum you gain feels that much more powerful. Wires out to his receiver, and he's tackled. From their own 29 yard line, first down. The Yellow Jackets had one of their key players earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the lineup. That play was over before it got started. That was just a case of the offensive line getting beat at the snap of the ball.
Third down, nine to go. Ball on the 30. Zips it to the back. They'll bring him down at the 41-yard line. This one might be coming back, folks. So let's check out the penalty. Clipping. Offense. They'll line up for another third down play because of the penalty. Well, here you're in a third down situation, and then someone makes a mental mistake. It makes you boil if you're a coach. From their own 26-yard line, third down. Let's go! He sails it long. Oh, he had a shot at the pick, and that'll bring up a punting situation. The defense held their ground on that play. The quarterback just wasn't able to find any open receivers. Meeks is the deep man awaiting the return. And he's taken down. Their last drive resulted in six points. Do you think we'll see the same result on this one? They ran the ball extremely well on their last drive. And until this defense figures out how to stop it, I think they'll have no problem running the ball down the field. And he's taken down at the 48. That makes it seven and eight. From the 48-yard line, second down. for a loss. He wasn't decisive at all on that option. Once he himself, there was no place to go. One of the top stadiums in the nation. This crowd comes to play themselves. Wants to go on it to the senior and down he goes right around the two yard line that makes it first and first down and their eyes on that goal line they're trying to stop the run here with a goal line defense Touchdown, Yellow Jackets. Great job of finding the space to run and just bursting in for six. And he hits the PAT. A four-play, 50-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. The score now, 24-17. Brown has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. He's to the 20. To the 22-yard line. Caps game so far, what we expected. He's a star. He's playing like one. We're in the third quarter. And he's done everything we expected, and then some, I think. Yeah, I mean, he's just one of those guys that has the, the uh, ability to game over, and you know, we've seen it all year with him. Uh, it's, it's not shocking to see what he's been able to do today, but it is fun to watch. I mean, he makes great decisions. He seems to be able to be in command of this offense, and uh, up to this point, this defense has not been able to do anything to slow him down. From their own 33-yard line, first down. So at the end of three, the Yellow Jackets lead 24-17. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. made at the 43-yard line. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. Run! 
He guns it to the right. He's taken down at the 34. From the 34 yard line, it's first down. He makes his way to about the 22. tie this game up and he converts the extra point so a five play 78 yard drive and they come away with seven points Brad I thought that was a textbook drop I thought they did a really good job of showing balance mixing the play calling with the run and the pass just an overall well executed touchdown play. good game 24 24 everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff Meeks fields it at the two Tackle at the 21. I have a feeling we haven't seen the end of the fireworks today. At the very least, they've got to get into field goal range. Once they've done that, they can think about taking a few shots into the end zone. We might have time in the back of our minds, but down on the field, that hasn't occurred to anyone. They want to end this thing in regulation. Brought down at the 31. This guy just made those yards look easy. That'll make it second in inches. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down mark. 